Which country is the most inbred? In 2013, a group of students at the University of Iceland created an app called SES. Rather than being a shameless sponsorship for this channel, this app had one sole purpose, to prevent an awkward encounter, shall we say, between potential cousins. You see, Iceland is a small nation with limited immigration and a minor population. Isolated for hundreds of years in history, most of its citizens had to intermarry time and time again, simply because there was nobody else to produce children with. The effect, other than the obvious, was serious medical complications, which only furthered Iceland's low birth rate. By 2013, these students had created an innovative way of preventing further acts of inbreeding. Unfortunately, most other countries around the world do not share the same technological innovation, which causes some of these awkward encounters the students at the University of Iceland had tried to prevent. In fact, the majority of countries around the world still allow for cousin marriage, first cousin marriage, which is almost 14% of cases would produce children who would inherit a genetic disorder or even develop a complication directly caused by inbreeding. In the United States of America, 24 of its 50 states allow for this type of marriage, which is surprising considering the country has historically allowed for generations of immigration. So these facts beg the question, out of all of the countries in the world, which country is the most inbred? To answer this, I will focus predominantly on present day statistics. I know, primarily I'm a historian on this channel, but let's be realistic when I say that most nations in history practiced inbreeding, even some going as far as to marry siblings and even parent and child. But for today's video, we'll be looking at the most inbred countries as of today. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 10, the United States of America. Given that I mentioned the USA in the introduction of today's video, this ranking may hardly be surprising. However, many might think initially at least that America cannot rank as inbred, knowing its cosmopolitan status and the fact that most young adults migrate hundreds, even thousands of miles from their hometown for university and to find a job. However, this is not representative for most places in America. In a study from CIDE across all 50 states, it revealed that New Mexico was the state with the most amount of inbred people per square kilometer. The fact that this is even a data entry is both disgusting and bizarre, but helpful for today's video. Other states to join this accolade are Virginia, Utah, and Kentucky. In the CIDE study, it found that residents of Puebla were among the most inbred in the whole of the USA. Number nine, Yemen. At present, Yemen is suffering from a deadly civil war, which has pressed its citizens in further isolation. Even before the civil war, the World Population Review found that almost half of its population had parents or grandparents who were first cousins. This is expected to become more apparent during the civil war, when families will be split further down the line according to political association and unlikely to marry with others from the opposing side. Number eight. Israel. A rather surprising entry on the list, but if we look at the history, this will be a lot more understandable. Israel has existed since the 1940s and has caused an intense amount of controversy. One of the least common reasons for this controversy, however, is that many inside of the nation are inbred, at least to a certain extent. The World Population Review found that in almost all of Israel's Jewish population, they are to be descended from an inbred person. The reason being is due to the history of Judaism, especially in Europe and the Middle East. Due to being minority groups in medieval societies, under their oppression, Christians and Muslims banned their own peoples from intermarrying with Jews, forcing Jewish peoples into marrying from the select minority. Number seven, Palestine. Palestinians too are among the peoples to suffer from many genetic abnormalities as an indirect consequence of inbreeding. Although Palestine's legal status as a country is disputed, this video includes Palestine as an independent nation. Like its Muslim neighbours, cousin marriage is not only legal but commonly practised. Due to the diversity of the region, Muslims, Jews and Christians and even groups within these, it's natural for social groups to become insular and seek for themselves during family ties. The result, however, has been negative for many Palestinians in the region. 
the World Population Review found that many Palestinian children born since the pandemic suffer from cleft lips, cleft palates and clubfoot, genetic disorders inflamed by generations of inbreeding. Number six, Sudan. Similar to Yemen, Sudan has experienced civil war and political fragmentation, which have been suggested as leading to an inbred chunk of the population. However, one of the more likely reasons for inbreeding is due to the country's fragmented social groups and insular societies. Number five, Mauritania. Mauritania is often overlooked nation in West Africa. Its geography is fascinating. Much of the country occupies the Saharan desert, and it's this feature which can largely explain for why the majority of Mauritania's population have an inbred ancestry. In Mauritania, villages and towns are largely static, meaning the same places across hundreds of generations in order to access fresh water at strategic points. Because of the arid climate, many of Mauritania's peoples in history have wanted to stay local rather than risk death by relocating to another settlement. The result means that genetics were confined to certain towns, leading to inbreeding down the line. Number four, Jordan. Jordan is a really surprising entry, given its more international population in the 21st century. However, a 1992 study from the National Library of Medicine in Jordan branded Jordan as a, quote, inbred country, verbatim, due to the amount of inbred marriages its peoples were operating in. Of all of the marriages in Jordan in 1992, 51% were between relatives, which is an insanely high figure. Even in cities, it found that three in 10 couples were first cousins. 80% of marriages in Jordan are arranged by relatives who mainly want their child to marry someone from a similar educational and socioeconomic background. Number three, Bahrain and Qatar. For the number three and two entries, I will have dual nations as their rates of inbreeding are virtually equal while also having similar geographical explanations as to why inbreeding is happening in the first place. Bahrain and Qatar are both island nations, and in periods of limited trade were isolated societies, especially before the 20th century. Because of this, families turned inwards in order to arrange marriages. Before the 20th and 21st centuries, many indigenous Qataris and Bahrainis would prefer their child to marry someone from the same culture, especially if they shared the same socio-economic and religious background. Number two, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Afghanistan and Pakistan's couples are often related. In fact, 50% of all couples in both countries are relatives. A case study from Kashmir demonstrates the reasons as to why this might be a case. Ghaffur Hussein Shah stated that as the family patriarch and father to eight children, he was expected to arrange marriages for his family. However, Shah was not blind to the genetic risks in doing so. His own wife was his first cousin, and three of their eight children suffered from genetic abnormalities. However, Shah stated that not marrying his children to a relative would actually be worse than living with a genetic disorder. In Afghanistan, there is more religious pressure than social. In an interview with several imams, DW found that in Afghanistan, Many viewed first cousin or relative marriages as following the example of the Prophet Muhammad. Number one, Burkina Faso. Almost 60% of couples in Burkina Faso are second cousins or even closer relations. Incest, interestingly but horrifically, is one of the most common reasons for this. Although punishable by death or even imprisonment, incestuous relationships are becoming more and more reported in the last 10 years. Al Jazeera found that almost 20% of women in Burkina Faso have experienced sexual advances from a male relative. Looking at this list unveils the multifaceted courses of inbreeding in the modern day. Rather than being a simple expose of these nations, it forces us to recognize how we can combat these health risks and understand the social and geographical pressures on people. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, my name is the Shy Historian and stay tuned for many more.